I'm Jack Ingalls. We are here in uh, my house in New York, and I am going to unbox a box I just received from uh, Tashin. This is the box. It's incredibly heavy. It's not very big, but it is super heavy. It's, uh, it's labeled so that it could uh, reach me. It says what's inside and who it's from. It's, uh, it's so heavy that it's actually shaking the camera. Um, I'm now going to see what's inside. It's, um, it's very colorful. It looks like a, um, an abstract artwork or maybe a, um, a thermal map. It's a book. But there's more books inside. Same. Let's open one of these books. So it's wrapped in a, in a nice, in a nice plastic. It uh, it has a rainbow on the pages. It has a. Uh, this is the title. It has a nice, um, a nice dust jacket. So the dust jacket is a thermal map. It seems to be the title of the book, Hot to Cold. And here where it's blue, it says cold in glossy letters. Here where it's red, it says hot. And the formation is essentially the, the thermal flows that happen when you have a, a source of heat and a source of cold. Uh, emitting heat and cold and it creates this sort of thermal pattern of, of airflow. And then on the other side you have a thermal map of, uh, of Earth and you also have a map of what I know to be the central atrium of the National Building Museum in Washington DC. Um, which is also a map of uh, the exhibition by the same name, Hot to Cold, that is going on right now until uh, this summer. So um, that's the dust jacket. And then uh, the book, um, again with the title and the nice gay flag of, uh, of colors, is um, stripped of its, uh, of its dust jacket it's almost the opposite of a typical book because typically the cover is the most interesting part of a book and uh, the content uh, sometimes the least interesting. In this case at least the content is the most colorful and the cover is the most neutral. And, um, and when you look inside the color actually comes from the, the book's organizing principle. Uh, almost like a, a way of quoting a National Geographic with a colorful frame that is typically yellow in National Geographic here. It's, it's the color of uh, the temperature of the place. So here we are in uh, uh, somewhere in the Arabian Peninsula. It's red when it gets, when it gets cooler. For instance, when we reach New York, it becomes like yellowish and then more green. And then finally, when you reach the cold climates of the north, like Kazakhstan, Greenland, whoops comes blue. The book is very heavy compared to its size. It seems to be very uh, dense or what uh, Stefan Sagmeister who uh, co-designed the book calls very meaty. It's, uh, it's very dense and um, I think I'm gonna 
rewrap it in its dust jacket. Hot to cold. It's going to go in the bookshelf. It's going to go on top of uh, a thousand years of nonlinear history. Another very colorful book with a cover design by Guzmán. Thanks for watching.